What's up, awesome people? My name is Eunice Tess, and you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, as you can already tell from the title, I'm going to take you with me to the biggest mosque in East Africa. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Let's do this. Gaddafi Mosque is a unique skyscraper compared to other mosques in Uganda and houses the headquarters of the Uganda Muslim Supreme Council on the ground floor, which is the national faith-based umbrella organization for all Muslims in Uganda. It was designed in a modern, colorful structure with magnificent features of art in the interior and was designed based on the cultures of Europe, Arab and Africans. The mosque is open to all visitors regardless of your background, political affiliation, culture, nationality among others which makes it a great place to visit while you're on safari in the Kampala city. Apparently guys this place accommodates 15,000 people. This is the women's section so we can't know what is the main section since we can't access it since we're all ladies. But yeah, 15,000 people both there down and up here. Uh, so guys, guess who is here? All the way from Rwanda <laughs> to Uganda guys. This is travel with Lynn from Rwanda. I'm just Lynn but I use those names. So, so she's in we... Uganda yeah, and we're nice gonna to check out. <laughs> so we are done with the inside part. We are going to check out the minaret as you can see. It is currently under renovation but I'm told we are still, my guide says we are still allowed to get in. So that is where we are heading to and it's actually my favorite part of this. You know I've been to the mosque like five or six times but I always stop at the gate and always let lamps around how crew go up but this time I was like you know what let me also try this hike so <laughs> pray for me guys. <laughs> So we are going to take 272 stairs we are to okay. Wow! Are you ready for the high? Yeah. So to be on the safer side, since I've never entered here, um, I'm in front, but in case I get that, I get to rest before the rest gets here. Yeah, so I'm in the lead. So you guys see, we still have a long way to go. So I have left most guys. So I think I'm finally almost there. Oh my god, you guys, I am. Hi. Ah. But after every hike, we get to finally at the top. I don't know if you can see that. This is the spot where you can get. Do I move out? Yeah. Okay. Ow. My. Ah. Okay. This place is. This place is under construction, but yeah. So let me show you guys the view that you get to see when you're top here. established churches 
that is St. Mary's Cathedral and St. Paul's Cathedral. So he was inspired to build up a mosque here. Then he donated 12 acres of land to the Muslim community to facilitate the construction of the mosque. So construction started in 1972. Later, in 1979, he was overthrown out of power by Dr. Milton Obote, who wasn't a Muslim, so construction stopped because they were political rivals. Dr. Milton Obote couldn't complete a mosque. Besides, he was not Muslim. Until the coming of Gaddafi in 2001, when he came to visit Uganda, he was interested in completing the work that Amin had started. So when he went back to Libya, <laughs> he sent engineers to come to Uganda to inspect the place. But they found out that the walls were weak and everything was damaged because for over 20 years, there was nothing done, no construction, no renovation, nothing. So the engineers suggested that they should demolish everything and come up with something new. So this is what they came up with. And everything you see here was completed in four years. Oh. Only four years. Wow. Four years? Since now? No. Since from today? <laughs> no, the construction of the construction. this place took four years. Oh. From 2003 oh, to 2006, but the official opening was in 2008, so they were waiting for Gaddafi to come and cut the ribbon, hmm. <laughs> which he did, and then it was named the Gaddafi Mosque. Okay. And then after the death of Gaddafi in 2011, the, the mosque still needed funding from the Libyan government, mm. but the government didn't want to fund a mosque named after Gaddafi anymore. So they had to change the name from the Gaddafi Mosque to the Uganda National Mosque. Okay. Now the official name that was given to it in 2013 is the Uganda National Mosque, but the popular name is the Gaddafi Mosque. But the, the mosque also has two other names, Old Kampala Mosque because it is on Old Kampala Hill and also Kampala Central Mosque because it is in the center of Kampala. Okay. So those are the four names. And the mosque was built on a capacity of 15,000 people but it can go up to more than 35,000 on festivities like Eid mm. and Fridays. Yeah. The glasses you see in the window were got from Italy, the chandelier is from Saudi Arabia, the design were from Morocco, the wood was from DRC Congo, and the carpet was from Libya. I know you told your friend you're not okay, and tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. Guys, the food is delicious because I really also like the rice. The rice is so good. The matoke, oh my god, amazing. The ginnat sauce and uh, what is avocado. the chicken? Avocado. You can see. I even asked the extra. <laughs> Wandering many are from India. That was the adventure scene. Now we are here. Adventure scene. Yeah, from India. I love that yeah. one. Yeah. We brought him to this place and he loved, loved the place. So right here, he's my inbox. <laughs> I'll see you guys in my next video.